Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use OpenTunes, which is a free software. It's um, open for all those who need to code or add um, adjustments to, and it's really easy to use. But it might be a little overwhelming, like Blender. So I'm going to teach you through the ropes. So when we start up OpenTunes, we see this. This is your project and your scenes. What a project is, is like a film. So let's make a new project. You see all these options, just I leave them the same. And we go to project name, and then we go, I'm going to call it tutorial. Wait, did I just miss, okay. Tutorial. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Tutorial. There you go. Or YT. Okay and we just press ok so now we have this now we select new scene which um, makes a scene like you know how there's clips of a movie this is basically in order of what you want it to look like so new scene and now we have all these options this is like the HD like average HD but here's some presets like ultra HD like 4k this is the normal HD YouTube uses, and there's a lot more. Units should be in pixels. If it were like in inches, it's gonna kill your computer. I just know it. And the frame rate, I'm gonna set it to 24. We should know how to use a frame rate. That's just how fast it goes. Images per second. So let's create this scene. I'm gonna call it um, Toot YT and create scene. Now we have this. So this is, these right here are all like the extra settings you could have to adjust like what you want things to look like and where you want it to set to. So I'm gonna press this brush. So now that we have everything set up here, we press the brush and uh, I'm gonna, we have to like make a level. So we right click here and then we press new level and we call it A, apply, and now that's basically a layer, or um, a set of keyframes, like a group of keyframes here. So now what we're going to do is that we have a layer uh, that we can scooch this, expand it just a little, and we have all these options, raster, which is um, just normal brushes, and then vector, meaning if you zoom in, it uses math to stay smooth and not pixelated. But here are all these brushes that you could use. I'm going to just use the, um, uh, let me find it real quick. There's pixel. I'm going to use pixel harding. There you go. And here we draw a little guy for fun. This is not Boyfriend from Fred and Aunt Funkin, this is um, me wearing a hat and mimicking his uh, dressing. So here you go, we have a character. Now this is how long you want the keyframe to go for. I'm going to set it in twos. And now we got this. If we go here, that means we want to add a new frame. But look here, right here there's these dots. If you press this, it adds a key. It adds an onion skin to those frames. But if you press this, it adds a static onion skin that stays there for a really long time, for like until you disable it. So I'm gonna draw another frame. Let's close it up. Now right here you see these two frames. These are um, just like the images you drawn. If you want, like you notice how it's like a gray color and you don't like it, we just go to File, Preferences, we go to Visual, uh, sorry, Interface, and then we go to Theme, 
first one, and then I, I'm gonna press dark. It'll take a while to load, but it's worth it. And there we go, we got a dark theme. I like this dark theme, it's pretty nice. So now I'm just gonna continue drawing. And there we go. We got um, like the third frame. Let's uh, play it, see how it looks so far. And if you ever want to crop it, we have to select the whole entire frame holding shift and move this little gray knob. Now if you want to repeat, you press this repeat icon and then it plays it in repeat. So now you want a color. You see this little guy and you want to color him. Now there's easy way to do that. Use the paint bucket tool or like whatever and you can color them in by pressing the plus and then picking a color like I'm gonna pick this this app was made to mimic the old-fashioned style of animation called cell animation and let's keep on adding new colors see we looks pretty epic and plus, let's make a red hat. Now this is different when you want a shade. Because either you can add it like, you can um, copy and paste the color again and then just slightly adjust it. And then you can make it like this. and then use the paint bucket tool and color it in like that or if you want to make another layer we go all the way to animation here now we see these collections let's just call these layers and we move them we move our old layer here and now we got these two new layers that we can adjust on so we go back to drawing and we can um, add another level new level apply and now that we got that we can manually by hand animate or like color in the colors That's our old frame. So, if we want a shade now, we add another color and it copies the same one. Now we darken it a little and we move it a little. That's my way of coloring. So now I can color it in. Now you're gonna probably ask something like, what about the effects? Like, how do you use effects in this app? Now this is what you do. We go to schematic. And you might see it like this, or like this. If you want to see it like this, you just press this little window icon. This is what we need to see. And I'm going to quickly install plugins. So what we're going to do is open the OpenTunes website. Now the OpenTunes website will be linked in my description. And here we see all these things. Here is Kumo Works, which is a cloud rendering engine, which is really useful where you basically use your pen, just draw a cloud and an AI generates one. And these are all free. And effects is what we're gonna need right now. So click on effects and you see all these. Press on release. Then we press windows. 
or if you want in your Mac user you just press the OS X it should be relatively the same but now we have this in our downloads folder we zip it unzip it sorry extract files and we have it so now we open the extracted folder and we see all this select it and copy it now after installing OpenTunes you're gonna get a folder in your C drive called OpenTunes stuff this is where we paste it in I already have it so it's gonna replace do this real quick items and skip now see these are all like the effects yeah so now we can close this up look at this if we press effects we have all these like little options but we're gonna go to plugins at the bottom and Duango is what the plugins we installed are and we have all these so I'm gonna make a blur chromatic evaporate effect insert or add yeah add okay so now what we're gonna do is we want these to link to this like this actually sorry here it goes here man okay I want this to be erased and then we want this to connect to this and this to connect to this and then boom this is the output meaning when you render it it's gonna load that and how we render is by opening this button right here render and you're gonna notice that there's going to um, there's going to be like a TIF option and there's not going to be an mp4 or mov option so right now I'm going to teach you how to install mp4 and mov what you're gonna wanna do is go to my description and you're gonna locate a media file link that includes these objects or like these um, exe files what you're gonna want to do is open the o open tune stuff create a new folder called ffmpeg and now throw these exe files inside so now that we got that we want to open um, preferences e import and export then we pick the ffmpeg path and we go here and we press we go to the C drive, open tune stuff, and click FFmpeg, and then choose. And then boom, we have it. Now that we have that all set up, we're going to go to render, output settings. Oh, and you're going to have to restart open tunes if uh, it doesn't appear. So we pick uh, MP4 or MOV, whatever you choose. I'm going to pick my output to be in. Um, my, desk, my desktop choose look at the frame rate and then render now it's all rendered out let's go to the desktop and find it yeah look at the colors Notice how it's using the chromatic aberration effect. Yeah. So it all rendered correctly. And that's it for the basic tutorial. See you next time.